welcome to the Tangerine Toy Store. Today we're going to be making these really cute doll purses and pencil case. They both open and hold things and you can only change to one step and you can still get this purse instead of a pencil case. And it's really fun and you can make this for an American Girl or a Barbie. I made mine for Barbie. All right, so let's see how to do it. For this craft you're going to need a sandwich bag, craft foam color of your choice, hot glue, and make sure to be careful because hot glue guns can burn you. Scissors. All right, let's get started. So for this, you're going to cut double the length you want and um, just as long as you want. So I'm gonna have mine to about right here and that'll be good. All right, so the next step is to cut out this part right here, this blue and pink part of your Ziploc baggie as long as your rectangle goes. And make sure you cut off the green part or whatever part is right here when you're doing this while the bag is open. Make sure that your two pieces look like this. Some hot glue along one end and attach one of the zipper clips. It looks something like this. Repeat on the other side. Now just fold it up and make sure it when zips. When you're done, it should look like this and make sure that it unzips. Now let's cover up these holes. Then cut a small piece to go right on the ends and glue it on. end up with something like this. Now we're just gonna smooth the edges of this out with a toothpick. This is completely optional, but I'm gonna do it just because it makes it look a little bit nicer. And make sure that it opens. This may take a second or two. Put a long strip of foam and bend it and glue it on to be the handle. For this step is optional. I chose to use string as a holder. To make a pencil, simply cut a toothpick and I'm gonna cut mine fairly short, probably about right there. Like that. And make sure you cut the pointy edge. Take an actual pencil and color the tip. Then take a yellow marker and color the rest of the pencil. Take a pink marker and color the eraser. And then you have then a pencil. Take a fine tipped marker and you probably want to use a Sharpie. And draw a design. I'm going to draw a heart. And there you go. You're all done. If you make it bigger, then you can just attach some string and you can make a purse. Draw a design that you like on it or just leave it blank and you're done. If you want it to be a different texture like I did, I'm just going to paint mine with nail polish. Although make sure your nail polish is in the same color range as the foam color. This is what it looks like after it's painted and I think it looks so cool because you can still see the texture of the Sharpie, um, but it but you can't like see it that well, which is good. But I think it looks really nice, and I really like the color. And now I just have to wait for it to dry. Also, I didn't paint the back so that I could just lay it down to dry. Now, here is now. Turn around like, hey, get out your.